The occupants of a car traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second note that on a particular part of the road, their apparent weight is 20% higher than their weight when driving on a flat road. Is that part of the road a hill or a dip? So to answer this question, we're going to draw two different diagrams. So first, the one when we're on the top of the hill in our car, and the second, in which we're in the dip of the car, dip of the road in our car. Now, if we draw our free body diagrams for this, so we have mg down, we have our normal force up, and then on the top of the hill, we have our centripetal acceleration directed downwards, going towards the center of our circular path here. So our acceleration is directed downward along this line. When we're down at the bottom of the hill, our car here, this being our car here, we have our weight directed downward, mg down. We have our normal force pointing straight up. And now the question is the direction in which our centripetal acceleration points. So for this, we're in the bottom of our circle, circular path, so the centripetal acceleration is directed upwards. If we consider in all of these directions, in all these cases, the up direction be positive, if we then use Newton's second law, which is net force is equal to ma. If we now apply that to all these situations, we would have the normal force minus mg is equal to negative ma centripetal. When we're at the bottom of our loop, we would have fn minus mg is equal to an ma centripetal. Now, if we add mg to both sides in each of these equations, we would have the normal force is equal to mg minus ma centripetal. And in the second one, we would have fn is equal to mg plus ma centripetal. Now, all these values have a positive value. So mg minus ma centripetal, this would actually decrease our normal force because the normal force originally without the centripetal acceleration would be equal to our weight. So it would be fn is equal to mg, but in this case we're subtracting the accelerate the mass times the centripetal acceleration. So we're actually decreasing the normal force in case one. So in case one when we're on the hill, we're decreasing our apparent weight. But when the, we're in the dip, the bottom of the hill, our normal force is mg plus ma centripetal. Our weight appears to increase. So in this situation, we appear to be 20% greater. So our weight appears to be 20% higher than normal. So in this case, we would distinguish that we're in a dip because our apparent weight is increasing because it's mg plus the added force here, the ma centripetal, which gives you that feeling of actually weighing more. So once again, the answer would be B, you're in a dip.